What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Uh, Cardi B threatens to sue Bia over a diss song. Bia responds and drags Cardi B. Is this majority or really? That's just like. Cardi B is currently beefing with the rapper Bia. They've been going back and forth. Cardi actually threw subs at Bia in her verse on the Wannabe remix. And Bia responded by dropping her own diss track. And I definitely want to talk about that. But before I do, I first want to thank Aura for sponsoring this video. So when was the last time you- Perry, get that money, girl. I want to talk about how the issue between Cardi and Bia started. There are some people who are calling out Cardi B for copying Bia's moves. Now, Bia had a song called I'm That B that samples Missy Elliott's song, She's a B. And Cardi decided to drop a song called Like What, which also samples Missy's song, She's a B. Now, nothing is wrong with people using the same sample. It happens all the time. So that seemed to be nothing but a coincidence. However, people started to point out the fact that Cardi was copying another one of Bia's beats. Bia had a song called Fall Back and Cardi used that same beat for her song, Enough. So some people started to wonder, okay, is Cardi copying Bia? One fan said, but Bia is def uh, producers might be. definitely on Cardi's mood board a lot. And Bia responded with some confused emojis, which kind of indicates that maybe she feels like Cardi was copying her. However, Cardi denied copying her. She claims that she received those beats before Bia got them. And also she called up Bia and she, How she know that? checked her about it. So I got her number. I got her number and I called her, right? I called her and I recorded it because you you just never know with these hoes. I recorded mm -hmm. it and I'm not even gonna- I watched this already, but it'd be a lot of other things that, you know, people talk about and with the same content, so. I lie. The conversation started very nasty. It started very nasty, very aggressive. I was coming at her and she was coming at me. Like, I had the whole conversation. Because you saying that I'm copying you. And also, also, this is my thing though, right? <laughs> yeah. No, this my the thing conversation thing. started yeah. real nasty, right? It started real nasty. And then I called her back because I'm so appalled at the fact that she thinks that I'm copying her or that I'm stealing from her. Cause the thing is, if you have the similar beat, I feel like y'all with beats. I feel like the producers have to shop for beats, bro. Like... <clears throat> you or or uh produce the beat like they made the beat right so when does cardi b know i oh sh that's be a beat you know what i'm saying like how would cardi b know that especially if she don't listen to bia i feel like these labels and these um producers be getting these artists into a lot of dumb sh there's nothing that she do that I that I like. I don't like her music. I don't like her style. I don't like how she look. I don't like nothing about her. I don't even see the bitch. So it's like more or less. And that's so terrible. Cause <laughs> that sounds like a hater thing. Cause I mean, she ain't give her nothing. Did she nothing? Cause I want to prove to y'all that like everything that she claimed that I copy her from, I been did the songs and I would, when it comes to style, video, anything, I would never copy you, girl. I ain't, I ain't not you, never you. Mm -hmm. Now, there was still some tension between Cardi and Bia even after they talked, and it caused Cardi to throw slugs at her in Glorilla and Megan's wannabe remix. She said this, I guess I'm a teacher since you want to sub me. She did what? Had no idea. Thought she was on the shelf, Ikea. Hope she talk like that when I see her. Okay. Be please. Don't nobody want to be a. <laughs> then she it went on to call line. her cheap looking and called her a great value version of her. She kind of went in a little bit, and I'm not gonna lie, I did think her response was funny. She now, I also wanna talk about another thing. <clears throat> now, Cardi is threatening to sue Bia. <laughs> she's threatening to sue Bia because she feels like Bia is running around telling people that she cheated on Offset. But what's funny is this rumor wasn't put out there by Bia, it was actually put out there by Offset himself. He posted and deleted this message on his IG story saying, my wife effed an N on me, gang. Y'all ends know how I come. And Offset actually had to address this on Angela Yee's show. Right, and then you posted something about Cardi and people think that she cheated. 
because mm-hmm. you did a post and delete. I was really lit that night. <laughs> I was lit. I had a little Casamigo here and there, you know. Okay. I was lit, and then we going back and forth, and I'm like, watch this. I'm not going to lie. When I saw Man. that, right, and I read it on the air, I interpreted it differently than what it was. Because when you said, my wife, F, a N-word on me, gang, y'all N-words know how I come, I thought you were saying hypothetically if she did that. That's what I said. I was like, yeah, I think he means hypothetically. But Cardi <laughs> definitely set you straight on Twitter spaces. She was like, first of all, <laughs> and she went in, so... Are you going to publicly, like, did you think I need to get online and clear this up? Or you think a delete is enough? Uh, the delete is enough. <laughs> you trifling as hell. <laughs> nah, you supposed to come on there and say, nah, gang, I was lit, my fault. So Offset addressed this, but he was the one who put this rumor out there because he was arguing with Cardi. So Bia did not spread this rumor. Also, Cardi was kind of pushing this narrative that Bia was spreading rumors about her having an explicit tape out. In fact, Cardi said one of her associates down in Atlanta hit up her team and hit up a producer and said that Bia was out here trying to spread this rumor that she was busting it wide open on camera. And Cardi called up Bia's team and Bia's team denied this. They were like, we don't know nothing about no tape. So when I heard this, I was kind of like, okay, it's clear that there's some messy middleman that's trying to bait Cardi and Bia into a rap beef because rap beef sells. So I think people were in Cardi's. Yes, it does. And remember, the niggas was hating on the women. So they decided to start a whole bunch of rap battles. And Kendrick Lamar won, but I'm just saying, I don't know if they discussed that part. But they not like us, okay? But um, <clears throat> I feel like the women was on top of the world. The niggas was hating. They like, yo, y'all see the women? They got the nerve to have the WNBA popping right now. And the, the female rappers is popping right now. Oh, why? Let's all oh, this up. Man, I think that's what they did. ear, And people were in BS ear. I'm dead serious, too. And they both took the bait, clearly. But it's crazy to me that Cardi was trying to sue Bia off of a rumor that was started by her own husband. That's the crazy thing. Like, who threatens to sue somebody in the midst of a rap beef? I put my record out. Yes, no, not my record. I put this remix out. And, you know, surely feeling a certain type of way or whatever. So niggas send me this. Uh-uh. So you was going around Hold on. Put okay. things together It's like oh So you was going around You was going around telling people that it's close to my nigga That I'm f***ing on this You could come at me at any angle You gonna lie on my p- okay. When you lie about my pussy, I'm gonna sue you And you gotta come with receipts and not only not social media receipts, you gotta come with court receipts. Cause one thing you're gonna you're not gonna do, you're not gonna lie on my pussy, and you're not gonna lie about me stepping out on my. Sh- and y'all know, um, not about to say Krishan. Y'all know Cardi B ain't don't play that when somebody lie on her vagina. Come on, Tasha K. Oh, her three million at this point, right? And, and oh yeah, yeah. And then she's saying this, right? Then she posted this on her little finsta. Then she posted this this thing. I don't know who's Adam. But she's talking about, hey, Adam. I can see it. Belkali said, if I drop this song, she's going to sue me. It, is that valid? Now, like I said, you could diss me. We could go battle for battle. But for you to lie on my pussy, lying on my pussy, bitch, will get you sued. And I will get every little fucking red penny that you ever fucking make, bitch. Any money, every money that you make off your publishing, bitch. Damn. This is so comical to me. The fact that Cardi is threatening to sue somebody over a rap song, a diss song. Yeah, she go too far. Just because somebody talking about your cooch, I, I feel like, I don't know. Like, I, why you take that so personal? And, and granted, don't get me wrong. I mean, don't lie on my cooch. But I'm just saying, like, why you got to take people to court? It's just ridiculous. This comes to show that Cardi is not hip hop at all. And she can't really sue her because once again, Offset put the rumor out there. Even though it's not true, he still put it out there. And Bia, being the rapper she is, was going to use this as an angle to come at Cardi. She used Offset's post as her cover art for her diss song, Sue Me. (laughs) And I thought that was funny. And this is what she said in the song. Put it on your hubby since you love lying on your vows. Dang. I write all my verses. I could do this ish for hours. Dang. I'll be dang if I let a man F a B inside my house. Dang. Whew. 
your money long and you split that your man saying that's ours damn who she was kind of referencing money long song hours great. and hours there but she was also oh, saying yeah. offset takes half of cardi's money too because cardi is probably the breadwinner she also said this i absolutely don't think he take half of her money but she's for sure the bread runner. put runner. that ish on god that you ain't changed your face to mine i'll get on you so i don't have to waste no time <laughs> say you love yourself b you wouldn't put that on your kids huh all that <laughs> surgery and how your body looks so mid oh now we all know cardi got a lot of work done to her face and her body and she did say that bia looks like a great value version of her but bia's like how can that be when you literally change? Looking at y'all right here, y'all kind of look just alike. This is kind of scary. <laughs> nah. Your face to mine. They do look kind of similar, I will admit. I don't think Cardi was trying to look like Bia, but after the procedures, that's what ended up happening. Bia yeah. also said, thought she was for the culture. You just trying to ride the wave. You should be at home with your kids because Bia, you speak like second grade. Oh my God. Whew. She referenced Cardi's she went culture. Dumb, but it came off kind of weak. I'm not going to cap. Like, I was watching it live, and I'm like, it just didn't come off like, if Cardi B would have said it, it would have went crazy. You know what I'm saying? But it just didn't come and off And her strong. son wave. Wow. And then she says that she speaks remedial. She speaks like she's still a child. She speaks like she's in second grade. Woo-wee. She then went on to say, go ahead, tell your hubby you ain't innocent. Had to up the score like I had 10 assists. You want to mention me, B, that's the benefit. Bought a Glock, but the drum comes separate. Ooh. <laughs> B, you probably <laughs> write a spell before you write a rap. Ooh, pay attention to that. Now, it was rumored that Cardi does practice dark arts. And what? Bia also said she's into that buharia. I find it interesting that Cardi addresses a lot of things, but she doesn't address that. I wouldn't mm, be surprised. That's true. 11-11, as y'all can see. Um, yeah, stop playing with her then if she practiced that stuff. If she was into that at all. Then Bia went on to say, C-A-R-D, crying on IG, catch another two because she couldn't catch a beat. Ugh. Do I beef with you or do I beef with Pardee? Ugh. You've been scrapping projects since 2019. Ooh. So that was Bia's response to Cardi saying that she was shelved like Ikea. Well, Bia was like, you think I'm shelved, but you still scrapping projects, which is why you still haven't released another album. And she also said, do I beef with you or do I beef with Party? And we all know that Party is Cardi's writer. So no yes, idea. Bia, you're going to have to beef with Party. Cardi B is not pushing no pins, okay? <laughs> the only thing she's doing is ranting on IG Live. So she has to hit up her writers and Bia will have to respond to them all. Bia went on to say that Cardi looks dirty with her tattoos and she needs a bath and she can't dress if it wasn't for Colin and Offset. <sighs> this is so petty. <laughs> this is so petty. I ain't gonna lie. All of this is petty and it's never that deep. Bia went in. She definitely went in and I could tell that this was light work for her. I know she could go harder than this, but oh, I think oh she's kind of taking it easy. <laughs> and we're going to see if Cardi responds or not. We're going to see if her ghost writer says something slick and then Bia could kind of push her pen a little more. That would be very interesting. But yeah, anyway, the what you all think the about. The last thing Party wrote about Megan Thee Stallion, we all was like, mm -mm, sorry. I, mm -mm. Oh, sh I had no idea. So... <laughs> Who knew he was writing Cardi B shit? About this mess <coughs> down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. That was a good video. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We about to get into Young Miami allegedly caught on tape during Diddy's alleged dicky business. <laughs> uploaded a video about young miami saying that she never had a golden shower and she doesn't like golden showers now this happened because young miami was on her podcast carisha please and she was talking to the rapper trina and they were playing her game arisha roulette and the conversation came up or what is it no. <laughs> i can't say it you got to it say take a shot if you like golden showers i do golden showers meaning when the guy pee on you mm -hmm. pee you everywhere? You like it? I just like it. You do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a week. Huh? So you say take a shot. You not take. You say take a shot. Oh, we need yeah, a shot. I take a shot. I you like to go to shower? I do. But it like.
on you. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just too sexy. I'm going to be honest. Hold on one more thing. I need she to sound like she was lying. I ain't going to lie. She sound like she was lying. Something a little, a little less. Right? So I'm going to be honest with you. I've never had a golden shower. I did. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, a young Miami did deny the fact that she had a golden shower. She says, do you remember why you fell in love with me? Someone responded to Young Miami and said, when I found out you love getting pissed on. Young Miami responded and said, I was playing. A ninja never pissed on me. I did that to promote my card game and it did exactly what I needed it to do. Then someone else said, wait, so you aren't our P queen? And Young Miami responded and said, absolutely. <laughs> our P queen is so disrespectful. Absolutely not. So there's a blonde item that says it is quite interesting that the golden shower a loving ex of the producer slash wannabe rapper suddenly decides to pretend she wasn't a part of everything he had been doing to people. Is she forgetting all the audio and video with her there? Mm. So basically this blonde item is a legend that whatever Diddy was doing young Miami was right there and she was in the video and the audio. But I want to know you guys thought I really feel like she had to be on his type of time to be a part of what he had going on. I feel like he literally took her on a date, like an extravagant, just crazy, ridiculous date. And at some point they ended up doing a line and he spoke to her and was like, listen, listen, baby, I like to do crazy things. Like, what crazy, baby? I do everything, daddy. I'm just saying I like to beat niggas up and watch them die and shit. Like, and I like to, you know what I'm saying? And this is a legend. And I like to, you know, people and stuff like that she's like okay baby daddy you can pay on me i'm cool what was it and i feel like that's how that went i ain't even gonna lie to y'all it's in the pins that's probably why young miami is going on this a damage control spree she on followed him she did this interview about him so it seems like she's trying to distance herself from him fame and money but it's like you could have the fame and money and still be the evil spirit nasty conniving Person. Guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. I think he knew he couldn't put his hands on her either. I really believe that. I think that he knew, like, nah, let me not even go there. <clears throat> not that she's the craziest person in the world, but she might be connected to some crazy people. Anyway. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.